In an interview that Liz Truss has just given for The Spectator magazine, she says that she thinks it is unfair to blame her for the interest rate um, hike. Well, of course we blame her. I blame her every time I look at the size of my mortgage. I blame her, absolutely. As, um, as Frankie Howard said all those years ago in the early 1960s, I don't blame him. No, I blame her. I do. I do, and I think any right-minded person would. Uh, she said the reason there was a specific issue around the time we're talking about in September, a lot of it is to do with the liability-driven investments and the impact they had on the market. So I don't think it's fair to blame interest rates for what we did. I think that's unfair. No, because she didn't take advice, because she didn't listen, because she didn't read her briefings. That is why she thinks it's unfair. She probably still hasn't read her briefings. She probably still hasn't read the response to what she wrote on Sunday. Maybe that is unfair. Maybe we are not giving her the time to read these documents. I don't think she would bother anyway. Um, I think she is entirely responsible. Does she regret entering number 10? Do I care? Does she regret the interest rates uh, rise? She should. Does she regret being responsible for such catastrophe, for bringing the economy to its knees? Does she regret uh, destroying our reputation? She should. Do I care if she regrets becoming Prime Minister? No, I don't care. I should expect the Conservative Party to regret giving her the keys for number 10. I don't care what she thinks. Why would I? Why would I?